This video is not suitable for audiences under 13 years of age. Hello everyone, Mixman Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look at some more Mech Arena. I think what I'm going to be doing when, with regards to my channel is I'm going to try and get to some kind of a schedule. Maybe I might do three Mech Arena videos a week, three War Robot videos a week, and then on Fridays I'll still do my Call of Duty videos. I know not many people watch the Call of Duty videos, but it's actually one of the games I enjoy most right now playing. So I'll throw up a game every you know, once in a while, maybe once a week thereabouts. Anyways, as you can see in Mech Arena, they've now added events. And so this is the first time I've loaded the game. I've tried to stay away from some of the, the YouTube videos that's been out there. I've seen some people on Facebook saying that they're way too easy. Anyways, we're going to take a, a quick, quick look at it here. So if we just X out of here, go through my offers things here. And as you can see, I really didn't have much time this you know, last week or thereabouts to participate in the event in the uh, tournaments. I, I got two of them, and in, in the, the fifth one, I wasn't really active that day, and I actually had uh, a couple people invite me to, uh, to to play a game, and they actually decided to play a tournament, so that's how I got in a tournament. I, uh, I hadn't planned to play that day, and that's why I got 20th, so anyways, it is what it is, uh, but so first off here, before I forget, let me just quickly claim my free daily deal. Okay, so as you can see, if we go into events here, we have our daily challenges and the holiday specials. So first off, let me just say a, a quick word about the daily challenges. Recently, they've changed them, and my understanding is so that they can be quote-unquote easier, and they are. However, there was a there was something about the old, the old way they did it that I actually preferred, I didn't always get all, all the challenges finished in the day. But they had seven options, uh, but you only had to complete five of them to get your crate. Now, the way they have it, you have to complete all seven. And it's pretty much the same, uh, same task every single day. It's open uh, crates in the shop. It's play seven battles. It's acquire 70 blueprints. Earn five gold medals. Play one battle with friends and earn 600 XP. And for some reason, the first day this happened, I got to 571 XP and it told me I couldn't earn any more XP. So I couldn't even finish this task. It was the last one to do and I was not allowed to earn any more XP. So I was like, well, scratching my head. How do I even do that task if I can't even earn enough daily XP to get it? The following day, I was able to. So I must have had earned XP earlier in the day before they enabled the new reward system. So that's probably why it didn't work the first time. Now, I wish this was, for instance, you only have to complete six of the seven instead. And the reason I say it is because of this one right here says battle one uh, match with a friend. And it's... Mech Arena is not overly populated right now. There's still a lot of bots in gameplay. And it, it's hard... This is probably actually one of the hardest ones, especially if you're just a solo player to, to play, because you, you don't have a lot of quote-unquote friends in the game. I'm relatively lucky. I'm part of a kind of an ad hoc clan right now. Uh, we've formed it on Discord, and we're basically waiting until they introduce clans into the game. So I can usually find somebody online to, to play with. But that being said, let's now look at the holiday of the specials, the events. I haven't looked at them at all yet, so this is going to be my first time looking at them. And so we can get 75,000 uh, of the coins, which is great. Uh, the credits or whatever they're called. What are they called anyways? Yeah, just called credits. Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I kind of need that because it, it'll put me over the threshold. So I want to start getting some pulse cannons and uh, get them on some of my boss because I'm, I'm actually lacking in decent weapons. So we deal 400,000 damage. Yeah, 200 mechs, 400 mechs, 60 mechs. Win 15 battles, 25 battles, and become MVP 15 times. Yeah, so in my view, they're relatively straightforward. Uh, I've seen some people on Facebook say, oh, no, they've already completed it in one single day. Well, yeah, that's it looks like you can. But I think the way what they're going for here is to make it more of a 
attainable goal for a lot of people. You, you don't, and this is one of the things that I hate about war robots, is some of the tasks that they've put out there, especially recently in the last event with the, the Sam Stone, the Syria Sam tasks, are absolutely freaking insane with the amount of time and effort it takes to get measly rewards. This one, you get two decent crates, you get some blueprints, you get 25,000 credits, and then the end one is uh, 75,000. So you know what, for for basically trying to win 25 battles, and by the time you win 25 battles, you get all the rest of these, that, that's a decent reward. It's, it's just normal gameplay. If I play this normally every single day, by the end of four days, I'll easily have this. So I, I'm glad they've added this. I, I think it's going to be definitely a benefit to the community as things go forward. And, and I am happy to see it. So anyways, with that being said, let's just hop into just a regular CDC match and see how it goes. So what is my daily challenge? There's one, okay, Spawn and Panther. So I have to make sure I try Spawn and Panther. So what I'll probably do is I'll just start with the Panther, just so I can get one of those out of the way. And see where I go from there. So let's just go here into battle. Quick match. And... We'll have to probably wait for the 30 second countdown timer and then we can hop into a game and see how we do. Usually when I go into these quick matches, I'd like to start with my kill shot to get some beacons. But because I have to spawn a panther, I'm going to make sure I do that first. So I'll take my panther out here. Three, two, one, go. And that's going up here. Now, as you can see, I remember this time around to change my interface settings. So now it's a little bit more like it has is in my previous device that I used to play with. So hopefully get on here to get the beacon. Or I guess I could say control point. I'm so used to uh, war ro robots where it's beacons, but they're called control points here. Okay, so going up here. Shut up my shield. Oh, somebody's behind me. Oh, crap. Damn. Uh, the, that was not very good on my part. I had no idea he was even there. All right, well, now let's do some stuff here. Somebody down here. Okay, got him. Let's try to go in here and get this beacon. He might spawn in here. And, nope, he didn't spawn in here. Okay. Okay, somebody's up there with rockets. Okay, it's that uh, juggernaut up there. But I can't put my rockets over there because I'll hit that the top of that ice there. Can I get around here? I should take him out there. Okay. Go over here, get rid of those rocket ranges a little bit. And there's more rockets, jeepers. Weave, weave, and he's behind me, crap. Damn, crap. I honestly, I'm not usually this bad. I, I missed that. It, I wasn't close enough. I need to be within 30 meters to do that. And I wasn't. Okay, so can I sneak up on this guy? Boom. Alright, so we're behind here. And I've already lost two of my good bots. All I have left really now to deal with is this thing. And uh, I have my juggernaut, which... Really, it's not level. It doesn't have level weapons on it. Okay, so. Get both of these. Nice. There we go. Get these damn juggernauts off the field. Okay, so. We have a panther over here. Because I just saw that shield go down. Okay, there's somebody there. And that's why I have a guardian. Take down that damn shield. Unfortunately, I got hit pretty good there. How did that not kill him? Oh, shoot. Somebody's from behind me. Can I... I need to get closer enough with him so I can take him down. Oh, shoot. Wow, we are getting our asses kicked. Holy crap. Like, do I not have any actual teammates on my team? Is it all just bots? 
Well, this is horrible. This is not how I wanted the video to go. Defeat. I didn't even get an MVP. You gotta be kidding me. What? What was that? Like, seriously. I got the highest on my team, but... Oh, look at that. No wonder. It's ba it was basically a one versus four. I, m I must have had pretty much all bots on my team. And, and this is one of the things I you know I wish they, they would do, is balance these teams out. Because there's no reason why you should have what looks like to be four real players on one team and one real player on my team. At least make it two versus three or something, and not like a 1v4. That's the one thing I wish Mech Arena would start doing is, I, I know they, they have to populate bots because there is not a huge player base. But when you have players going into matches, at least balance it out on either side with respect to the bots. Anyways, you know, it, this is basically kind of like a war log. You get what you get, and I'm not going to cherry pick my matches. I did my best. I could have done better. No, I'm not going to say I did my best. I could have done better. I wasn't keeping an eye out on what was behind me. I was just basically going forward trying to capture beacons and spawn in my panther when I really should have been a little bit more cautious. But even had it been more cautious, we would have still lost on, on those odds. Anyways, I, I hope you like this content, and I hope you... Uh, cons consider to uh, subscribe uh, keep following my channel as i do start to move more into mech arena i'm not going away from more robots yeah i'm it's still going to be one of the main one of the main games i cover on the channel but i do want to get more into the mech arena because i am enjoying it more right now than war robots so with that being said i hope you enjoyed it give me a like or thumbs up and consider subscribing and until next time cost of mayhem in the field for me